Checklists have the ability to send alerts and to set those up you'll go into the settings within the specific checklist that you're looking for or that you want to set that alert up and then once you navigate to the settings tab right here you'll see I have my notifications and I currently don't have any set so I'm just go ahead and select add new notification now notifications are sent to a specific role or multiple roles so here in the drop down you'll see what roles I have created in my account um, so let's say I want to notify my manager and the owner and we want to let them know by text message email or push notification now the text message we do need to have their phone number in their profile as well as, well as their mobile carrier. Um, email, same thing, we'll need their email address in their profile. And then with the push notifications, this is required to have personal mode when you've connected to the Jolt app. So this will not work if it's a shared device. This is for personal devices only. And then when do you want this alert set? So when an item is overdue, this means the list was not completed on time and at least one item is still left to be done. You'll get an alert letting you know the list is late. An item is out of range. This is specific to our measurement item where you're establishing a minimum and a maximum range. And if it falls outside of the range that you've set, this can send an alert to let you know it's fallen out of range. When the list is displayed, this is really nice if you have uh, items like maybe changing out the oil in your fryer and you need to order new oil when the time comes. So when the list displays, you can get an alert letting you know, okay, it's time to not only complete the checklist, but I also need to order some oil. Once the list is completed, this one is really nice when you pair it with the email notification because you'll actually receive a copy of the checklist. It'll include each each item, the result that they entered in or their response, who completed it with a date and timestamp, so you'll get a complete copy. This is especially helpful when you're doing things um, like audits or inspections, or even into like the HR realm if there's an incident report or performance reports, things like that. Um, getting an email when that list is completed is very helpful. And then before the list is due, you have the ability to set the frequency or, or how soon before the list is due that you want to be notified. This is especially helpful to make sure that you're completing your lists on time, um, especially for anything regarding safety, whether it's food safety, employee safety, or, or anything to that factor. So now that I have my role selected, I want to receive a text message when an item is overdue. So I want to alert them that this list wasn't completed on time so that way they know there may be some items left from our closing checklist that they may have to complete in the morning. I'm going to go ahead and set this as a text message alert when an item is overdue so when you get up in the morning you've got that on your phone ready to see. I'm going to go ahead and select done and then save. Now you can have multiple notifications, you can have multiple types, so you can have a 10 minutes before the list is due, go to one role or when it's completed to another role. So as many notifications as you'd like, you're welcome to add those in. You'll just need to make sure that we do have contact information entered in for the people that you would like those notifications to go to and we have their role selected.